Today is one of those glorious good days. I felt so good I cleaned my desk for the first time in probably months. But you know what makes today even better? Besides the fact that I did my nails and I'm very proud of them and I took my sweet time because I had to. <laughs> but a Zen Pop box came today and I'm really excited to kind of dig through it. Maybe find some inspiration. Let me grab it. I'm sure it's fine. You okay? Good. All right. So this is the November Zen Pop stationery box. It's chock full of stationery items directly from Japan. We'll jump in, see what's in there, and maybe make a little art. Mm, very festive fall tissue paper. We've got the mascot Luna. Looks like she's doing some washi tape art. Actually, that looks like paint, but that looks like washi tape. <laughs> <laughs> bifocals very cute also that is very accurate the sunsets have been gorgeous lately so many colors <laughs> like trixie yogurt <laughs> and i think that has yeah that's the qr code for the menu with that lists all the items that are inside here but we don't need that we'll use our eyeballs what is that? A decoration crayon. It's like a, I mean, it's exactly what it says. It's rainbow marble crayon. Oh, and then they actually have an example of what it will write like, which as a kid, when you look at it, you think it's gonna write in rainbow, but in reality, this is what you get, you know? So it's kind of nice that they give you that information on the packaging if you happen to be just slightly ignorant about how rainbows work. Oh wow, what is all this instructions? Before use. Do not push crayons too far out of the holder as this may cause them to snap. Put the crayons back in the holder when not in use. Do not drop crayons, shake them hard, or subject them to strong impact. Do not store near open flames or in hot areas in a hot car. In direct sunlight, etc. They said a lot without saying a lot. I think they just said, handle with care. <laughs> I've used pencils that are kind of like this. And so like, this is like the crayon version. And they're just like, you know, cool novelties and they're like cute. But like in all practicality, you draw with them and you get brown. So it's just how it is. But it looks cool. I also have whatever these are. Petite cut. <gasps> are these for washi tapes? Oh wait, they're probably for these specific washi tapes. I was hoping you could put like any washi tape in there. But these look like they're little bobbins for your washi tape. And it looks like they go with these. So these are small masking tape bobbins. Oh, so cute. I've been meaning to uh, take in a vest and I've been putting it off because sewing this just like a lot of moving parts, you know, but this is like getting me excited about it. Oh, do they stack together? Huh, that is cool. Simple, but cute. Okay, well, let's grab one of the threads of tape. Ooh, they're like little sweater patterns. Those are cute. I'll pop those out. These also connect so that you don't lose them in the exact same fashion. I like the little knitted texture on them. Now, how does one get it in here? I'm guessing you stick it on this larger end. Fill her in. That's nice. So you don't have to worry about losing the end. And then we can stick the other ones in here. Look how cute! That is bringing me a little too much joy. No, why am I saying that? It is bringing me joy and that's a wonderful thing. All right, what else we got here? Is this a nail clip? <laughs> hey! Wow. No, for my, my self care. <laughs> Although I have to be honest, I've learned that I do not have the thinnest nails on the planet and I have to use tail nail clippers for my hands. So I don't know if I will find use of this. Oh, it's so cute. I love the little pink and orange blossoms and I'm always a big fan of like blushy cheeks. So, you know, you know, I like this. But yeah, it looks like it is actually fingernail clipper. Hey. What a funny thing to include. I can't say they've ever included fingernail clipper before. What else do we got? Whoa, this is, a, okay, I thought this was a ruler, but it's not. It's a long flat eraser, it says. So it looks like it fits into your pencil pouch nice and easy. Oh, it's actually got a holder. So there's like a plastic sleeve. And then there you go, in case there is any, any misunderstanding. It is a flat long eraser, not a long flat eraser, but it's on a plastic sleeve and then the eraser is on the inside. I like that. That fits in here nice. Keep with my grape markers. <laughs> All right, then we also have some stickers. It's very shiny, you can't see. Let me see if this helps. Any help, and oh, it's still shiny, but maybe you can see a little bit better. They're kind of like a painterly watercolor washi tape. What's that called? Collage art style, which is really, really cool. Also, this looks like some sticky notes. Definitely sticky up. So there's a sticky adhesion on this short edge of the square and oh, it's on the flower side of the circle. Those are really pretty. I will definitely be getting some use out of those. Also has a bit of like a cottage core vibe, which is uh, this looks like, uh, oh, 
stationery cards and envelopes. It shows sort of like decorations, which makes me think the idea is that it's a girl with a white blouse and then you can decorate the blouse for the occasion. Like if it's a birthday or a Christmas or Thanksgiving. There's also something about donuts and parks and butterflies. Maybe there's just a bunch of different illustrations. We will find out. There's some illustrations here, all cards. And then there are some off-white envelopes to match. So we have this character, we have butterflies and flowers. We got some desserts. We got a nice park day and uh, like a still life of your kitchen or something. Very cute. They're very, they're not my art style, but I always am like drawn to things like this. I don't know what it is. The like simplicity, but also the like, I would never do that because I'm doing other things. I don't know. I don't know what the word is. I do find these, this style very interesting. I'm just kind of curious. Do you open? I don't think so. It's just a very thick card stock. Okay, there's also, oh, there's two letter sets. We are spoiled today. Let's get it out of there. That's what the envelopes look like. It's kind of like a, kind of like a shiny paper. It's got a little space for your address. So these are the papers, but they have like a foldy seam. And there's another foldy seam right there. Okay, oh, that's actually really cool. I don't think I noticed that before. So the envelope has clouds and it's like the background and it's like the back of the sunset. Then you have the paper. And obviously you're gonna fold it at the seam. Now that seam perfectly lines up with the top of the envelope. Well, it doesn't perfectly, but we could make it do that. That way when you fold it, then when you open it up, Oh, but then this is not right. I think it works better in theory. I mean, it looks cute like this pre-folded. This is sort of not quite hitting the mark. Maybe it needs another trial run. Needs an engineer involved or something. But the artsy people are doing their side of the bargain. I'll tell you that much. It's very, very cute. And it looks like there's one more thing in the box and it's a pen. It's the Click Art Zebra Pen. I don't know what that is. Is that because it mean it? Oh, it turned red. Black, red, black, red. It's a yellow marker. Is it like a highlighter maybe? Let me just get a little mark in here. I'm pretty sure it's a highlighter, but it's a beautiful, happy yellow color. And I appreciate that about it. I can also give that a <laughs> crayon a little swatch. Use the corner of it. Hey, it's actually doing a good job making different colors. Ooh, look at that gradient. Hey, again, it's not like super practical if you're trying to create an illustration, but it's nice. It's also very light. Can you see it? Wow, that is faint, but there it is. But yeah, that's everything in the box. And now it's time to kind of find some inspiration. I love this. And I really love this sweater, the sweater idea. I mean, there's plenty of things here. There's also landscapes. We could try and do like a three dimensional paper landscape, maybe. So that's where the brain is. And that's what I am currently pondering. What if, okay, this is a random idea. We mix the collage flower sweater idea by making flower sweaters. I'm not sure what I'm saying. <laughs> It's a very vague idea. Let me just start making a mess here. But like what I'm thinking is if we do, I have two ideas. One would be you just kind of draw a flower thing, right? And then inside this, you would use like the washi tape, right? <laughs> Put that over top and then you'd have to cut it out. And then you'd have sweater leaves. You'd have a bunch of those. You could even switch them out and do a couple different patterns. But I think I would probably stick to one pattern per branch. So like if there was another flower of some kind that overlapped, then that would have a different pattern. The other idea would be to actually see how this has sweater texture. There's like squares of color, like it's woven or knit or whatever, however you make a sweater. <laughs> what the, what if we did flowers in that texture? I mean, it's kind of what's happening there, but you'd have to draw the squares of everything. Oh, you could draw it in the stitches like this. So it's more embroidery. And it would look something like that. That's feeling too mathy to me. And I don't feel like doing math right now. This seems more fun. Cause I could do like a whole bouquet of a sweater. I wish I had a better like knife for this. I have this, it's not what I want. It's more dangerous. I might get the job done. Uh oh, I'm running into a problem. It cuts so close on this edge. I can't grab it. I just twist it. Find a workaround. See how many I can cover with one. Luckily, washi tape is so thin, you can see right through it and you can just trace around your sketch. 
Hey, that actually looks really cool. I love the texture, how it's like an interesting pattern. Like you have the leaf thing going on. And then obviously I've got the sweater texture as well. We could put the whole design onto a sweater as well. So it's like, it could be that like um, sort of granny vintage, I thrift shop a lot vibe, oversized sweater with some kind of fun pattern. And then that's what we put the washi tape on. Then we get a character in here. And then we get to draw that on there. And we could probably use these other ones. The colors don't quite go, but she could have like a turtleneck. That's another sweater pattern underneath. Let's try out that eraser. It works. <laughs> I was pushing super hard because I kind of don't want to break it because it is so thin, you know? It does have the plastic, which helps, but I'm scared. See, yeah, you can't really grab it. So the convenience factor minimized, but you can undo it there and then it's not the end of the world. It's still easier than completely finding it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This actually makes me very happy. Not the cleanest job on the last few, but you can definitely see the vision. But how do we want to like incorporate all of this into something else? I feel like this looks like a beanie kind of girl with curly hair and glasses. Curly hair. Glasses. <laughs> All right, then we need that like sweater where we're gonna put the sort of, I don't know what that's called. It's almost like quilting. I feel like that's what I'm thinking. So it's like a, you could do like the Santa head <laughs> with the quilts texture, you know? I think it's like the ugly holiday sweater vibe. I want it like so oversized. I'll have like a cuff sleeve. So I think that picture should probably be the full size of it too. So it doesn't look like it's made to be oversized. It's actually just huge. Picture needs to be this big. And then maybe we'll put like a little skirt on it and stick it out. I'm not sure. Pants would be fun as well. So I'm thinking like pleats. This is starting to look like Velma. <laughs> what do we want this picture to be? We could do... The thing is I want it to be more wintry, which is why I'm kind of pulling away from the idea of the flowers. <gasps> squirrel! That could be really fun. We do a big squirrel. Like the silhouette of a squirrel. And then it has got a little acorn, which could be its own color as well. Eh? And then you could have just little bells or something. <laughs> do you even put some more of that stuff on these part of the sleeves? There we go. We're going full ugly sweater. Makes me want to put a pom-pom on here if we're going like full craziness. Now, where do we want the colors to be is the next question here. So the color scheme actually has to stay in this realm. I think we're going to need to leave the sweater mostly white so that these can pop a bit better. So if it's like a white or cream sweater and then we can use these for like the squirrel. Let's try it. I want to use one of the busier ones for the squirrel because I don't think you'll see this pattern as well. Let's try this. Cut that out for the tail. It's actually kind of hard to see. But go big and you can always cut more off. Oh, I missed some. I missed some. Maybe use this for the sleeve. Sleeve. The army. Let's kind of take that off and we'll stick it on afterwards. That's the arm. Don't forget about it. And maybe use this one for the body. I don't know. Work with me. Here. Figuring it out as I go. <laughs> maybe it all should be the same texture. Yeah, let's do the same texture. Go back to the other one. Fill that all in. Okay. All right. It's coming together. Oh shoot, how did I miss the foot completely? I just gave it its own foot at the top. Well, there's that. The acorn obviously has to be another color. I wish I had like acorny colored washi tape. Because <laughs> then that would be kind of fun. I can still put this arm on if I want it to be like slightly different. I don't know if that's obvious or not. Let's try this for the top of the acorn. I did not need more, why did I do that? And then I guess this for the bottom of the acorn. Oh, it's tricky when you start getting like multiple washi tapes next to each other. But there you go. <laughs> it's going to look like an acorn. Maybe I need to use a little more marker to make this work. But well, then I'd probably put like a nice line art around it. Kind of like define the shapes a bit more that way. And then I need this arm. Probably add like stitches. It's pretty 
cool. It makes me wish I had this under the whole base of the sweater, but I think it might be too late for that. We could take maybe some marker and see if I have, that's actually really close. Maybe use this for the sleeves. And there's like yellow in that, so maybe grab a yellow of some kind. That is orange. And that is green. Actually, that green that I fell in love with last time. There we go. Let me give her the yellow sweater underneath. Is this cute? I'm kind of on the fence. Beautiful potato brown. We haven't used her in a while. Might not be bad for like a skirt color either. Just to kind of keep it all in the Kelly scheme, why don't we? Now she needs definitely needs some kind of tight, like a warm gray. Yellow socks. Wait, wasn't that yellow? Why does this look so different? Is this just the yellow mixed with the pink pencil? That's a crazy difference. I'm gonna layer the skin tone over the tights color just to kind of blend them together. I feel like it needs something of this up here. We can do another acorn, but in the meantime, I think we'll just add a little bit of line art. We also have that yellow, this yellow. Yeah, I can't see it. Because I've RT put marker down. I can do like an outline. It's interesting. Definitely need the line art though. Kind of thinking I want to do something thick. This is a 12. That's probably too thick. I was thinking like a five or above. This is a one. That's probably too small. Yeah, too small. Maybe an eight. Here's an eight. By Unipen. Yeah, there we go. We'll start up here where it's less important. Let's see how that shapes up. Ooh, yeah, little line art's going a long way on this one. Really kind of like just brings it all together. Just kind of tracing the funky shapes I made with the marker and adding in some extras. Get this more sweater textured. She needs some blush. I might just use that uh, yellow. She doesn't look too happy, but you know, we all have off days. This should have a thicker liner, especially if it's supposed to be like a big chunky pattern. It only makes sense. At this lines here. I'll use this color over the boots. I've just decided they're boots. And the socks can have a texture. Maybe some texture on the tights. Ta-da! So there's that. That was my idea. The orange didn't quite fit. I think it's because I added in the yellow around that. So maybe if I take this, go around the outside, it might solve that problem. Or maybe just fill in the whole thing. Here we go. I'm doing, ooh, grab. Grab some of the line art. Gross. Still like the color scheme. Don't know about the yellow thing, but I did it. I committed. <laughs> I would love to just kind of draw a couple dainty flowers. <laughs> kind of just recreate that with that kind of color where you just sort of draw leafy things. So you have like a stem and you end in a little blob at the end. Just kind of like mindlessly draw some blobs. I love that color. That's deep cream. I think it's an Ohu pastel. I could be wrong, but I love it. Ooh, look at this color scheme. Isn't that pretty? I could use this red. I need something for the leafies. That's really pretty. That makes me happy. It's got nothing to do with anything else, but it's inspired by these. And I like the little yellow ones. They don't have any kind of leaf, but I'm gonna add something. I don't know what kind of flower it is, <laughs> but here, have something. Everyone deserves a leaf. Yeah, now we're just drawing flowers. I hope you don't mind. Try to do those like more simple stylized things that I like, but I never do because I'm always doing something else. Well, maybe this is exactly what I need. I like it. What's this other one? It kind of looks like this. <laughs> it also has like leaves. There's not really any other colors. It would just be this sort of thing. Can't say this is my favorite, but it was one of the ones I hadn't drawn yet, so I had to do it. I don't know what that is, but there it is. I'm gonna grab a little Posca. 
cut into some of this extra we don't need so much. There you go. That already looks better. All right, what else we got on here? Oh, we got this little one with the, it's almost like little tiny red baby's breath. Should I use this little pink? I think I need something a little darker. Uh, that's too vibrant. A little less saturated. Uh, yeah, that's probably good. I'm gonna start by sketching with this instead. Or should I draw in the little red things? Not sure. Put little pink dots on the end of everything. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. <laughs> Can't say I've ever drawn that. A little thickness at the bottom. I don't quite like the color. I want something more red. There we go. Might also just add some extra ones in here. And then we'll figure out <laughs> how to connect them. Actually, I kind of like them just hanging out. Kind of gives it a, like, illustrate -y vibe. So far, this is my favorite, and I kind of just want to do another one of those. Or maybe find some way to incorporate all of them together. I'm not sure. I just love the colors, but maybe incorporate a little bit more of this into it. And then we need the flowers. Go with the light color first. Maybe it'll pick up some of the pencil. And just put a little bit while it's wet in the centers. And blend that out with the lighter one while it's hopefully still juicy. Then we'll take that beautiful deep cream color and fill in all of the little leaves. I like that a lot. That is really pretty. The red's still not quite what I want it to be. Maybe bring a little of those pink in here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so I have a fave. Definitely have a fave kind of flower. But that color scheme is even better. Like, I like the pastel one. This one, even better. I kind of just want to fill this page and then maybe we'll <laughs> reevaluate after that. I don't know. This is just so enjoyable. If you haven't done something like this, just do it. Use a little pencil. Find like a nice green pencil. A little light green marker. Draw them in. Put a little color in there. And then if you're really crazy, put a little pop of flower. I recommend. I definitely like this technique. Like, this looks cool too. Like it's got more of like a sketchy vibe and it's a little thicker. This has a more dainty vibe, which I like. What oh, might be nice? Just add like a baby's breath thing in the back. I don't want it to not overlap at all because that doesn't make sense. But I don't want it to be too full either. I want it to kind of have an illustrative vibe. I'll take this and just do a little... We're doing it with the green. Just kind of filling in that space. Might be nice to grab the Posca and then add little dots to that as well. Not sure how visible they'll be, but it's subtleties sometimes. What else could I do? What else? Wait, what am I doing? I said I like it better when I sketch it first <laughs> with the pencil. You too. Okay, I really like drawing flowers. <laughs> I think I knew that already, but now I know it more. Yeah, I like the idea of sketching it first. Let's try a little like, maybe add a rose. Add in a bunch of little leafy things. Color that in somehow. And the green. Fill in the leaves. Definitely needs some more in here. So that's more of like a little bouquet. I feel like it needs some of the yellow flower. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cute. So it's like very wildflowery. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that too. It's so like doodly and floral. I love it. I could do this for hours. <laughs> but I'm kind of getting very uh, repetitive here, so it's probably not the best content wise. I do want to thank you guys for watching. Come along with me as I open the November Zen Pop stationery box. Lots of fun, cute little things in there. I think this might be my favorite thing in the box just because I'm falling in love with it. But this, this was very pleasant and I, I, I'm i excited to use this in the winter now that it's snowing. If you're looking for any information on Zen Pop, I will have a link in the description. But I think that's it for me for today. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!